We always describe it like running a 1500 metre where you hold your breath around the corners and try and smile and sprint and do everything as graceful as possible without letting on that you're like dying um, <laughs> underwater and everything. So um, it's pretty hard, but um, yeah, it's fun though. So. Um, I used to do speed swimming and my mom did it with the masters and there were two girls from my club that I joined um, doing it as like the normal training with my mum and she told me about it and I thought I'd give it a go because it was something different um, and it just started from there. We do, we do like swimming for warm ups and things and like fitness but then you have to obviously like learn all the synchro skills and all the different like sculling techniques that you have to use to be able to stay above the water and upside down and things um, and lots of um, routine training um, and now that like for GB we do our routines with weight belts on so like you wear three kilos in the water so when you take them off it's easier and it improves your fitness quite um, a lot. After the success of the first one series this is the second generation of the one series it was released at the back end of 2011 and it's, our, it's one of our newest models from BMW featuring some of the latest technology that we've got and some of the you know, really exciting efficient dynamics. The rear wheel drive aspect of the car is it's, as if you look at all the, the sort of best sports cars in the world, they're all front engined and rear wheel drive and it's something that's been important to BMW for all of its history. All BMWs have either been rear wheel drive or four wheel drive and the one series carries on with that heritage to deliver it an exceptionally handling car. Well from swimming you like you know how to use the water and things to propel yourself through but um, you have to learn completely different sculling techniques and like when you're upside down you do like there's loads of different things like support skull and I um, like to stay upright and you have to be able to use your legs to be able to like you do this um, technique that's called egg beater and it's basically like an egg whisk if you can imagine your legs moving like an egg whisk um, and it's just completely different. As a, a BMW it's quite a sporty car so obviously the acceleration was really important to us. We wanted to make sure we had the best performing car in the class you know, to, to have the best acceleration in the car while maintaining good fuel economy and most importantly making you, you smile like you should do when you drive a BMW. Well, we're not allowed to use the floor at all during it, so it's um, explosive power and then for some of the lifts where you have to stay above the water like in a standing pose, say on top of someone, you have to be able to maintain um, and so you need to be strong and be stable underwater so the people underneath the lift that we have like one person and then another person stood on top you have to be like a floor for them so you have to be really strong and be able to use your legs really fast. The new one series being one of the most fuel efficient cars on the market today we've got a variant the efficient dynamics car and out of a tank full of fuel I mean you should be able to do sort of seven eight hundred miles easily an average of nearly 70 miles to the gallon. So it's one of the most efficient cars in the world in the world to sail today and obviously it's one of the cars with the most stamina out there as it can keep on going without needing to stop and refill the tank. I think it helps us more than um, hinders us because we can it's nice when you're swimming to be able to hear the crowd cheering you on and supporting you so but I think it's more exciting than um, and being, I'm not really nervous about it, so it would be really good.